Now, your 41 NBC AccuWeather forecast, presented by Volume Chevrolet. Welcome back. We have been seeing a few showers trying to move in across parts of middle Georgia this evening, but really kind of impressive system when it was over in Columbus. You can see all that lightning as the sun went away. We started to see this kind of fall apart and now just some light rain possible with any of these showers out there this evening. And that's really only going to be for the next couple of hours or so, but I do think we could see a little bit of patchy fog across the area by tomorrow morning, especially in spots that saw that rainfall earlier today. You take a look at our almanac from today, 94 degrees. So that is normal for this time of year. And part of the reason that we didn't kind of exceed that is because we saw those showers a little bit earlier in the afternoon here in downtown. We saw that rain around two to three. So continuing to keep that afternoon thunderstorm activity, keeping us a little bit on the cooler side. This is looking at right now, though, on the 41 sky view overlooking downtown Dublin. Everything staying pretty calm there. It got a little bit breezy when we saw that initial outflow boundary come through today, but now we're already down to 77 degrees, 72 where that dew point is stuck for right now, and that's about as cool as we're going to get overnight tonight. But you take a look across the rest of middle Georgia. We're kind of all over the place right now, sitting at 80 down in McCray, seeing 79 in Sandersville, 79 in Milledgeville, and 77 in Forsyth, keeping the heat index out there as well. So feels like 80 here in Macon, 78 up in Atlanta and seeing 79 over in Birmingham. And once again, you head to the middle of the country, 93 degrees in Dallas. They are going to continue to stay mostly dry as we are heading into the rest of the week. So that high pressure once again going to be in place in the middle of the country, which means unsettled conditions for us as we are moving into the rest of the week. No huge changes. It's very much that summertime pattern that we have continued to deal with and we see it once again for tonight, just those residual boundaries, keeping some shower chances out there. But as you go ahead and take a look heading into tomorrow, we've got high pressure in the middle of the country. Like I said, that's going to keep everything dry out there, but we will continue to see the potential for some pop up showers and storms. We're also going to keep the high humidity through the rest of the week. So be ready as you're heading out tomorrow and into Wednesday, just afternoon showers and storms that will be possible each day. We're not expecting any kind of widespread severe weather, so no concerns there, but you take a look at the rest of the forecast for tonight. Going to keep some clouds in the area. Once again, some patchy fog possible into tomorrow morning. But as some of the kids in our area are heading out to the bus stop, we're going to see those 70s to start the day. Partly cloudy skies by the afternoon. We are looking at that potential for some scattered showers and storms with those highs back in the 90s. Probably some low 90s by around 3, but we'll see some mid 90s possible across the area as we are moving through the rest of the day. Unfortunately, we are talking about some very humid to miserable conditions as we are moving through the rest of the week. That humidity not good going anywhere. However, we are going to continue to see our heat index values staying a little bit rough out there for tomorrow. Feeling like 103 if we don't see much in the way of that rainfall really start to kind of appear 96 on Thursday. So Thursday kind of our better day, but I also think that could be one of our rainier afternoons. You can see on our stormcast as we're heading into the end of the week, we're going to keep the rain chances out there, especially as we are heading into the weekend. In just 10 seconds, I'll look at our seven day forecast. At Volume Chevrolet, get oil changes for life, plus a 20-year, 200,000-mile warranty. Visit Volume Chevrolet, I-75, exit 187 in Forsyth. That's volumechevrolet.com. And here's your 41 NBC AccuWeather 7-day forecast sponsored by Volume Chevrolet. Temperatures staying mainly in the mid-90s through the rest of the week. It's just going to be hot and humid with that chance for showers. Each afternoon, our lows will be staying mainly in those low 70s. For weather updates on the go, download the 41NBC AccuWeather app and follow 41NBC on Facebook and Twitter.